Hey guys, what's up? It's Snake here, and I had some Ascension footage left over, so I figured why not use this as background for my uh, for my next uh, video in the series of video games that should exist but don't. Uh, so October 1st is just around the corner. We're getting ready for the holiday season. Halloween's upon us. Uh, you know, you got to go out and get your costume or uh, whatever it is you do for Halloween. And I figured this was a perfect time to talk about a video game that I think would be amazing. And uh, a lot of horror movies have been tried, they've tried to make them into video games, and they've all failed. There was a terrible Jason, uh, or Friday the 13th for the Nintendo Entertainment System, and I don't know, just what, every time they've tried, horror slasher films trans, translate so poorly into video games. And I figured there's got to be a way for us to make it work. And uh, what better horror series than Halloween? Uh, with Michael Myers, Jamie Lee Curtis, all that fun stuff. I'm not talking about the remakes, of course, the Rob Zombie remakes uh, that came out just a couple years ago, because those were absolute crap. And I feel the real reason uh, why they were so terrible uh, was because he tries to explain why Michael Myers is crazy and why he's trying to kill his sister. And th that's not scary. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like a, a psycho person with a knife that lives in an insane asylum. It's not scary if he tries to kill somebody. He's a psycho person with a knife that lives in an insane asylum. What did you expect him to do? You know what I'm saying? There's no, there's no fear. There's no misunderstanding. Uh, th that's why I hated when, um, when they changed actors for the Jason in the Jason series. And I don't know how many of you have, you know, went back and watched the old Friday the Thirteenth, but. Um, there was this one uh, guy who played Jason who was terrible at it, and he used to like breathe really heavy and like look around and try to add like thought to the character of Jason. And the whole point is they don't think, they they don't have a soul. There's no there's no mind inside. There's just a body with a knife. And the whole point of them is to go around and kill everyone. There's no discrimination. There's no there's no thought process. There's no master plan. There's no understanding of anything. Um, the whole point, the whole thing that makes slasher films so scary, the things that make Friday the 13th or Halloween uh, or any of those types of movies so good is that the, the bad guy just gets up and kills people for absolutely no reason and you don't understand it. You're not supposed to. It's a, it's a scary movie. The point of the movie is to see a lot of blood and sex. That's, that's the whole point of the movie. So that's what we have to capture inside of this game. Uh, okay, so if we're doing Halloween, obviously we can't see his face, you know, because it's Michael Myers, you're not supposed to see his face, it's hidden. But when we start out, we got to start out at the beginning of the story. So we're in, <clears throat> excuse me, we're in an insane asylum. So the whole first mission is us trying to break out. And maybe we could have some sort of like voices that, that Michael Myers hears. So we're not really explaining why he's crazy, but we're just showing you, we're, we're putting you inside of his head. So you fully get the uh, the level of craziness that it is to be Michael Myers. You you hear these weird voices, these weird chanting things. Maybe it's not even in English. Maybe it's just some weird uh, language. Uh, so we got you know we got the whole crazy thing going on, and um, and you have to escape from the insane asylum. So obviously we want to do it in a third person mode, uh, but we can never see his face. Like you can't look. You're not able to look into mirrors or whatever. You can't. You, you can't like turn the camera angle to see what he looks like because that's part of the the, um, the mystique of the character uh, so first we gotta escape from the insane asylum uh, then you gotta you know travel down a dirt road to get to the town and you have to get you know work overalls and you have to steal the mask and you have to get some sort of weapon and then you're in the town and I think it would be awesome because uh, obviously the whole game you're Michael Myers so the whole point is to kill as many people as you can uh, with, of course, the main person, the, the boss of the game, if you will, uh, has to be your sister or some sort of relative, I don't know, a cousin or a, or a I don't know, a, a father's, grandmother's, uncle's roommate or whatever, you you know, whatever it is. Uh, obviously, the main boss has to be related to Michael Myers because that's the, that's the whole point. That's like the thing is he goes running around looking for his, uh, his relations to kill all of them. And so, so we escape from the insane asylum, we get to town, and then we have to ser start searching for her. We have to start looking for the house. But, um, here's the thing, we gotta, we gotta figure out some way to, 
to give you power, to, to give you reason to keep playing the game. And so we can't give you weapons that are upgradable or, or special powers or anything like that. Because the whole point is, all you do is you walk around and chase teenagers and kill them. So what can we give them? Well, I was thinking, what if we had a fear system? Uh, kind of like the Clock Tower series. And so the way it would work is, uh, you know, you got a couple different things that you can do, like side quests or side missions that you can do in the town before you get to the house. Because when you get to town, there's it's daylight outside. Uh, so you're, you know, you gotta, you gotta wait before uh, the sun sets because they won't be in the house yet. But you gotta get to the house before they get there, or at least sneak into it or something like that. I don't know. But uh, the way the fear thing would work is, uh, I don't know how many of you have seen the Halloween movies, but in Halloween, uh, there's a part where he steals the tombstone of his sister, the original sister he killed, and then brings it to the house. And, you know, there can be other little things like that, too, like uh, leaving, uh, like killing a cat and, like, leaving it on a front lawn where one of the characters is going to see it or something like that. Um, build up this sort of fear um, around town. Uh, so that way, when it gets to the point where you're in the mansion, the, all the characters are going to be even more afraid of you. Because the more afraid of you they are, the better. Uh, think about it like this. Let's say, I don't know, because we want a game that's going to last, like, about five hours, maybe. Uh, you know, a decent amount of you know a decent amount of time. Maybe it'll take a little bit longer if you've never played it before, or if you're you know if you're trying to get everything done, it might take you know it might take seven or eight, eight hours to to complete the whole thing, right? Uh, so let's say you don't go through and you don't get the tombstone, or you don't do the little things to build up uh, the fear meter. <clears throat> well, then when you're when you're in the mansion and you're fighting them, and uh, and like you get to a certain point, maybe you'd run into two of them at a time. Say you run into two of the guys. Well, if they're not as afraid of you as they can be, then they might try to attack you. Uh, so you can actually get hurt, and it would like impede, um, you know, it would uh, impede your process through the rest of the game. Uh, but it, the more afraid of you they are, uh, the more people that can be around you and still be scared of you and still try and run away or freak out. And the less afraid of you they are, obviously. Uh, the more they're going to try to attack you or fight back or do different things like that. Uh, so it, it, it changes the gameplay. Uh, you know, your fear meter would literally change the gameplay, change the way the computer reacts to you. Um, and of course, you know, there's, there's, I don't know, there would be some way, like if you, if you skipped some of the fear stuff and got to the house ahead of time, there'd be things that you could set up to make it easier to kill, like set traps and different things like that for some of the, for some of the teenagers. And so it would almost be like a weird, once you, you know, like the whole thing would almost be like a weird, like, Splinter Cell type game as far as having to sneak around and stuff, because you couldn't just be running around town with your mask and a knife. So you have to, like, sneak about, and you can kill people when you run into them, too, even in the town, even, you know, because those people obviously aren't as important as the teenagers in the mansion, but you could still kill them and stuff, but the more you kill them, the more... The townspeople are going to be alerted, so the the dangerous, uh, the more dangerous it'll be for you to continue to just walk around the streets of the town before you get to um, before you get to the uh, the mansion. Uh, so there's like a lot of different angles that they can play with here, and uh, and then of course, like all good, uh, excuse me, like all good horror games, uh, there needs to be multiple endings. You know, so obviously since you're Michael Myers, the the best ending, the good good ending, or whatever you want to call it, would be you killing everybody. Even your, uh, even your sister, and then you're finally at peace, the, the voice is or whatever, and you can, I don't know, maybe you can kill yourself or, or something like that. Or you can just get up and walk away and leave. And then, you know, the, the bad, bad ending would you would be killed before you killed a certain number of people or something like that. Um, but obviously, once you've gotten to a certain point, once you've gotten to the mansion and you killed enough people and the, the only ones left are obviously there's the police detective who's been hunting for you while you're in town the whole time. Uh, you know, so there's a whole other level that you have to deal with there when you're in the town. Uh, so say you don't kill, kill him and you don't kill your sister, but you kill everybody else. So the, the game can still end, um, but it's just the bad, bad ending because you, you, know, you didn't achieve the plan you were going for. Or you, maybe you just killed the cop, but you don't kill the girl. Or you just kill the girl, but not the cop. So there's like, uh, all, you know, all sorts of different possible endings you could have. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's my idea for a game that doesn't exist but should. Halloween has to be my all-time favorite series uh, as far as horror uh, slasher films, horror slasher films are concerned. Obviously, Halloween 3 was terrible, 
and uh, I pretend that it just doesn't exist. But Halloween 1 and 2 are great, and even 4 and 5, even though they kind of get weird, are still pretty fun. Um, but yeah, I think it would be really great to see Halloween, to see Michael Myers uh, as a video game hero, or anti-hero, or whatever you want to call it, the uh, antagonist. Uh, so yeah, that's that's going to be it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this idea. Go ahead and leave your comments below. Tell me what you think. Maybe you have a better idea for a different horror game to be turned into a video game, or a horror movie to be turned into a video game. Uh, so go ahead and leave your comments below. Talk amongst yourselves. And until next time, guys, peace out.